What's going on, everybody, and welcome to Rock Gamer. It's time for my weekly recap, where I talk about this past week's Rhythm Gaming news, and let's get started with Rock Band 4. So there's a bunch of new songs that are working now on the PlayStation Store, or on the PlayStation 4 Music Store uh, for Rock Band 4 if you live in North America. I've put the complete list down below, and I've personally tested a lot of these songs, and they do work. So some of them include Take Me Out by Franz Ferdinand's, We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel, uh, Runaway by Bon Jovi, uh, Santa Monica by Everclear and Strutter by Kiss. There's still a bunch of other songs, so click the description box to see which ones are working. In addition to that, we finally got some new DLC this week. Uh, we had a five pack. All of them are more recent tracks, so that includes uh, we got Beck, uh, Dreams, we got Boren's Electric Love, we got Cocoon by Catfish and the Bottleman, Cold War Kids First, Ex Ambassadors Renegade. And I've done a review of these songs, so click the annotation box to see my full review to see which songs are worth purchasing. Let's go into our next piece of news. We also learned this week that Amazon and GameStop are actually selling some of the more recent DLC packs and some of the older DLC packs that are available on Rock Band. So you can basically go to those online sites and they'll give you a, a code that you can just go use in the music store and just download the songs. I just don't know why you wouldn't just go to the music store itself and download these track packs, but you do have the option of doing that. There's about five track packs. There's the Aerosmith one that came out just recently. There's the Van Halen one that came out a couple weeks ago and a handful of other ones. We also learned too, there's now a firmware update uh, for the Mac if you're playing on the Xbox One. So previously, Mac owners who had the Xbox One version of the game couldn't download the firmware update. It's available now. I've put the link down below. There's also a bunch of rock band songs that are coming off the music store. Most of them are European tracks. Uh, so I put the link, I put the um, the name of the songs down below. You guys can check that out. We also have one pack that's being delisted. It's called the Universal Motown Republic uh, Rock Zero One Pack. That one will be delisted, but the singles within that pack will still be available, uh, with the exception of uh, one song. So I put all that information down below in the description box. And then we also had Harmonix, probably with the biggest news of the week for Rock Band, talk about the new game mode that's going to come out uh, for Tuesday's patch. So they unveiled it to IGN yesterday. Uh, it's called Brutal Mode, and apparently it's for people who miss performance mode and people who play on Expert. So Brutal Mode, in short, is basically a mode that you can only play on Expert difficulty. There, no fail can't be turned on, so you can fail out of a song. And basically, the better you play, the fewer notes you'll see, or the game will take away notes from the highway making it more difficult to hit. So you have to really remember what the notes to, what the proper notes to play are. And uh, everybody who you play with in Brutal Mode has to play on Expert. Uh, there's actually a special a leaderboard that was, that's specifically for Brutal Mode. And if you actually do Gold Star songs, you get like this special red kind of star in the game too. Uh, you know, I'm going to test out the Brutal Mode on uh, Tuesday when it comes out and put a full review up. My initial impressions are that this is a mode that's really going to appeal to a very small fraction of the Rock Band community. Not everybody plays on Expert, and a lot of people like me just want them to add features that were already in Rock Band 3, like setless creators, online play, and a handful of other modes as well, rather than giving us new modes. I mean, they, they did say they're going to have monthly updates for the game. I'm figuring that January's update for the game will just be like a patch fix. They'll fix some bugs, and that's about it. We also got some other huge Rock Band 4 news this week, or I guess it's just Rock Band news. Uh, we learned that there'll be a Rock Band VR game coming out for Oculus Rift. Now, there wasn't a whole lot shown off. They revealed it at the Video Game Awards on, uh, I think it was Thursday night. And uh, basically, they didn't say what platforms it'll be coming out for, but it's basically Oculus Rift have said that they're the ones who funded this game. So it's going to come out on their platform, which is either the PC or the Xbox One. They did show a couple seconds of gameplay footage, and it looks like you would just play a guitarist. I don't know if you can play a drummer or any other members of a band, or whether any of your old DLC works, or what songs will be in the game. We did see Dragon Force's song, Through the Fire, flames was shown in the trailer my opinion is that it's a very niche market for people who actually are interested in vr and i don't think it's going to really take off like you know a, a bunch of harmonics other games including rock band 4 but let, let's go on to the amplitude news of the week that basically sums up the rock band 4 news because we also got some amplitude news this week we learned the release date will be january 5th of next year we, we learned the game will be coming out on the playstation 3 although no release date has come out for the ps3 yet and fans who actually helped the kickstarter campaign by donating 40 dollars or more will get access two weeks earlier than everybody else we also learned the game will retail for 20 dollars on the playstation store and as well the game will come out with 30 songs instead of 16 like originally promised if you guys want to see the full song list for Amplitude, click the description box below. Uh, as you would expect, all of these songs are pretty much harmonics bands. There's no big bands. And we also got a new launch trailer for Amplitude. So I put the link down below. You guys can check out the launch trailer. I'm really excited for the game. 
Stay tuned to my channel because I'll be covering all things Amplitude as well. Let's go now to the Guitar Hero Live news of the week. Not much Guitar Hero Live news to report this week, uh, but we did get another set of premium shows that came out. So we got Rock the Ages, the 90s, featuring uh, Pretty Fly for a White Guy by The Offspring, Sex and Candy by Marcy's Playground, and Them Bones by Alice in Chains. We also got a Class of 2015 pack, which features Nothing But Thieves, Ban All the Music, The Bots, Blinded, and Pulled Apart by Horses, Hot Squash. So uh, we also had um, all the songs that we got last week uh, added as premium shows. Those ones will now be transferred over to the on-demand party, so you guys can access them there. That does it for this week's news, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I want to remind you that this coming Tuesday, we're going to have a brand new Rock Band 4 patch, including the new Brutal mode that they showed off. So I'm going to have a full review of that. And make sure you guys stay tuned to my channel for the latest Rhythm Gaming news. Thanks, guys, and have a good weekend. Bye.